Crawford 34 is seeking damages to be determined at trial in excess of 5.4 million million money the fighter claims he lost due to top ranks failure to deliver a second fight in year two of the extension he signed in 2018 along with his inability to offer a bout with Earl Spence Jr. The suit claims that when Crawford signed the fight with Egidius Kovalaskis in 2019, the agreement included a 900000 payment if Top Rank didn't, in good faith, offer Crawford a bout with Spence by the end of 2020. It's unfortunate that Top Rank did not treat Terrence properly Hear that. It's unfortunate that Top Rank did not treat Terrence properly and in fact spoke out regularly against him. Crawford's attorney, Brian Friedman, told ESPN. Let me repeat. It's unfortunate that Top Rank did not treat Terrence properly and in fact spoke out regularly against him. Crawford's attorney, Brian Friedman, told ESPN. So let's make it clear. I want you to understand. It's not Terrence Crawford who writes out these lawsuits or any other fighters. It's the lawyers who do that. So the trolls and the nasty people on the internet in the comment section saying, Crawford is below scum for saying this. Oh, all the black fighters, when... when they always pulling the race card. It's not Crawford pulling the race card. It's his lawyers who are white. Make that clear. Okay? Yes. It's not Crawford who's pulling the race card. I needed to make that clear because I was watching people's videos and I seen what was being put out there in the comment section by people who don't show their goddamn face. And I was... Very, I was seeing exactly what was going on. Everybody was beaming Crawford. I hope Crawford loses every bit of sin of money he got. I hope Bob Arum sues the crap out of him. I'm like, they're spinning it on Crawford. It's not Crawford, people. It's his lawyers, a white man, that wrote this out and suing him on basis. And he's done it before to Bob Arum. Make that fact. And we need to make sure that's the narrative. It's not Crawford who's writing this lawsuit out. It's Crawford's lawyers who's writing it out on his behalf. But they put the verbiage in there. Friedman is also represented. Friedman had also represented Mikey Garcia in his 2014 suit against Tom Rank, which led to the parties terminating his promotional agreement after Garcia was sidelined for nearly three years. So that show how stinking Aaron did, right? He played dirty. This pride man, this man probably want to get to Aaron's ass for what he did to Mikey Garcia. <laughs> He's still holding the grudge at Bob Aaron. <laughs> this, 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 this lawyer is still holding a grudge against Bob Arum for what Bob Arum did to Mikey Garcia and putting him on the shelf for three years. I guarantee you. See, I can't wait to clean that old ass motherfucker's clock. Okay, this is white on white violence, white on white, white collar violence. This ain't no black man. Just want <laughs> get this shit straight. <laughs> this is white on white, white collar crime. <laughs> Unlike other boxers bound to top rank contracts, Terrence can assert his claims in court without top rank enforcing him to sit out. Friedman said, repeat that again. Unlike this, he says it right here. Unlike other boxers bound to top rank contracts, read between the lines. Terrence can assert his claims in court without top rank Forcing him to sit out, Friedman said. Friedman said. The white man said that. Terrence can force this shit on him without making him sit out. This white motherfucker got a grudge on Bob Aram's ass. It ain't. Terrence Bob Crawford, he be like, look, man, I made like five million, average five million per fight with you. 4.5 million per fight with you. I ain't that mad with you. But this motherfucker wants your ass. And you did say some fucked up shit. And yeah. 
Go for it, Brian Friedman. So he's going for his ass. Brian Friedman going to tear. It's Brian Friedman tearing Bob Arum's ass up. <laughs> Make it clear. He's saying it right here. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. That is a game changer. That's what Brian Friedman said. He in for Bob Arum's ass. This, make no mistake, that is a game changer. 